We finally got our first look at the new Matt Reeves spin-off series, The Penguin. I'm gonna tell you about it. Colin Farrell played the Penguin in the Matt Reeves film, and he was awesome. He did a solid job. He had the fat suit rocking. He had that grizzled voice, looked like an asshole. He really got the mannerisms of the, of the Penguin down. This is a series focused on him now. I know, it's hard to believe, considering it's called The Penguin. I'm not so sure I'm sold on this. I liked the character. I don't know if I want to watch him in some Tony Soprano-esque TV series, but the featurette looks promising. It's definitely got that dark, dirty look of Gotham City. It's going to be about the rise of the Penguin, who, in The Batman, was kind of a, a low-level crook working his way up. He's like those crappy mobile game ads you see where the guy's walking down the sidewalk and he starts beating on a hooker and then he can choose to join the crime boss or to befriend the hooker that he beat up. He joins the boss and he levels up to like the second in command. I imagine that's how this show is going to be. What a long walk. What a long walk that was to say really nothing at all. <laughs> this featurette, not even really a trailer, is clearly unfinished material. There's shots of the boom mic is in there in the background. You got the key grip holding it. It's just kind of a, a hype job. It's getting you excited for what's to come. I can't say I'm excited, but I'm also a little curious. I'm, I'm penguin curious about this whole thing, which is weird that this is happening at this very moment because over on Peacock, you have that other show based on that other movie property, The Continental from John Wick. Another, well, this one's a prequel. I don't think the Penguin, the Penguin is, I think, after the events of the Batman. So we have a sequel series. We have a prequel series, both on kind of, I, I don't want to say uninteresting characters, but not your rough and tumble, you know, cool action stars. Did you watch any of the John Wick movies and think to yourself, man, how did the Continental get started? I understand there's a lot of gunplay going on and cars being smashed and dudes being flipped over backs, but really I'm, I'm, I'm just focused on this Continental and how it got started. Who formed it? Well, wonder no more, friend, because Peacock has you covered with a new series focusing exactly on that question. Here's what we know about the show. It takes place in the 1970s. The Continental is a safe haven for assassins and all dirty walks of life to go in find passage, maybe have a continental breakfast in the morning, get a nice suit tailored, grab some guns, and you're on your way. Winston Scott's a cool character from these John Wick movies. I'm not so sure I needed a full TV series on Peacock to kind of flesh this out, <laughs> but that's what we're doing. I assume there's going to be a lot of like shenanigans, back alley deals, double crosses, backstabbery stuff happening in order for Scott to get his hands on the Continental. He's probably gonna have to get his hands dirty first. I don't expect to see a lot of gun foo. I don't expect to see a lot of action full stop, which is a little bizarre, but we're, we're, we're doing other worlds here. We're spinning things off. This is a John Wick universe after all. We gotta build, we gotta do different things. And I appreciate that. As for the look of this trailer, it doesn't show much. There's a cool retro song in it. The vibe I'm getting is obviously like old school Godfather. It does have a little bit of the John Wick stank on it. Some of that neon is filtering through. It feels more John Wick 1 for sure than it feels John Wick 4 or Parabellum, which was John Wick 3, the greatest title of any movie ever, Parabellum. I'm not that excited about this, kind of like the Penguin. It's just kind of there for me. I, didn't, I don't think I needed a spin-off series, and if I did, I'd prefer it to be on one of the cooler action characters. I know we're getting one for Ballerina, but that's not even a character that's currently in John Wick. That's going to be focused on a new character played by Ana de Armas. So I'm obviously going to watch that <laughs> right away. What happened, though, to Nobody? Are we going to get a Nobody sequel? with Bob Odenkirk. I love that film. It was awesome. What about Atomic Blonde with Charlize Theron? That movie was freaking cool. I know it's not in the John Wick verse, but it might as well be. You could easily have that. I want to see an Atomic Blonde X John Wick film, or maybe they team up and they take someone down. That would be sweet. I'd like to see Halle Berry's character back. She was oddly missing from John Wick 4. Where'd she go? And everybody else there. They had Hobomorphia still. I'm rambling. 
That's all I know on the Continental. Not a lot of news, just a teaser. Looks promising, we'll see. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Like this video if you had a good time. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't as I post tons of movie, TV content, news, reactions, blah, 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 each and every week. Love to have you stick around.